Hi everybody, welcome back to Taji's World of Books and welcome to another book series recommendation video. Welcome back. So today I want to talk to you guys about a fantastic series that is by Ammo Jones and it is so good that I'm first of all when you read an Ammo Jones book number one or series it's not for everybody. She writes dark morally gray ambiguous characters with toxic ass relationships if any of you have read sicko sicko is fantastic but it is dark it has a lot of trigger warnings it's morally gray it just gives you all the feels and when you come to the end of it you're just like oh my gosh and so this series which is the ekc or the elite King kings club it is no different. Like I said, you got to trick out, check out all of the trigger warnings because there are a plenty. There are um, dubious consent situations where the partners are together and they clearly are together, but it borders on brutal when they are together in that way. Um, and the Elite Kings Club is a series of one, two, three sort of duets that are all bound up in eight books together and I'll explain what I mean in a minute. So the Elite Elite Kings Club or EKC is about a family legacy of a secret society that controls the entire planet if you will. So whether it be the mafia, whether it be MS13, whether it be the um, Bratva, whether it be the Vatican, it doesn't matter. This group of elites control all of the illegal drug trade organizations, trafficking, whatever it is, they are the ones that call the shots for everybody. And everybody falls in line under the EKC. They are the head honchos. And they have a series of families their last names mean different things. I'll get into that in a minute. Their last names mean different things and therefore they contribute different things to the EKC for running of this illegal criminal enterprise. And they have certain rules that everybody has to follow. And so we get an introduction into this world in the first book, The Silver Swan. And The Silver Swan is about Madison Montgomery and her interaction coming to the Hamptons she, live, she lives in the Hamptons. Uh, her mother has committed suicide. And as a result of her mother committing suicide, she now is living with her, fa her father and her stepmother. And her stepmother has a child and his name is Nate. And so Nate is um, going to introduce him to, introduce her to the EKC in the most brutal of ways. And one of the dudes that's in the EKC is named Bishop. And Bishop kind of runs everything. You can tell that he is the darkest and the most brutal, and his name is Bishop Vincent Hayes. So he is the most brutal of all of the boys that are in this club. And it seems like, and they all go to this elite prep school. And when, you know, Madison first comes into the school, she becomes friends with this girl named Tate. And Tate sort of gives her an idea about what this school is about and how the EKC runs the school and about the unspoken rules that are going down in this situation. And it's all about illegal activities and games. Think of, like, if you think of Penelope Douglas's, um, her, um, her series with the, the, her boys, um, over there. If you think of that series, that like it's like a combination of these guys that are going to play all of these tricks on you and put you through these tests and see if you're worthy or not to be part of and if they can break you. They in essence are trying to break you and break you down at every step of the way, but it is so toxic and so dysfunctional. And so like there are times in this book where you just go, if somebody would have pulled that shit on me, first of all, I would have broke down and been sobbing my eyes out, eyes out and then I would have been pissed and then I would have been trying to take people out. And that's exactly what Madison does. But Madison acts out in very immature and aggressive ways and she hurts herself in as much as she hurts the people around her. And so this is her story with um, Bishop. So the first is Silver Swan and you learn that silver, she is a Silver Swan and she's a Silver Swan because that is when a female heir to this empire is born from two king families then if they have a girl because they're not supposed to have a girl if they have a girl 
then she is called a silver swan and something happens to that silver swan as a result of that. And everybody else knows this, but Madison doesn't. And so it's that point of discovery. And I loved in one of the end of the books, the last book in the series, how she described it. So the first three books, I'm gonna explain that in a minute. First three books about Madison and Bishop are Silver Swan, Broken Puppet, and Tacita Mortis. These are their, that, their story and their development. And the way that Ammo described it is perfect because I can't describe it any better. Ammo says, Bishop and Madison, the OG couple, the two who barreled into my comfort zone and told me what the fuck was up. I love you. I think I'm going to come back to that in a minute. So then the next books in the series are Malum Evil and Malum Evil Part 2, right? And that's going to be Nate and Tilly's story. And then the final two books in the series is Sancta Diable Part 1 and Sancta Diable Part 2. And that is going to be Bradley and Saint's story. So, like I said, in the first three books, this is Bishop and Madison. And like I said, she just, like, they're the old G. They're the one who set the stage for everything. And there are some things that you think that there's a happy ever after. But as you hear in the, the final five books in these, that some stuff go down between Madison and Bishop that you hear about over here but get resolved in ruined castle and we understand what happened and what was going down and i loved it because this is what um this is what it, uh ammo jones says about this series she says i want to thank all of my readers old and new who have stuck through this chaotic journey of the elite elite kings club you rode with me on the hard shit and through the good shit and for that i will always be grateful for you Without your continued support and support and loyalty through the series, I would not have been able to finish. You inspire me. You are my readers. You do more for me than I can ever express. So thank you. For six years, I have loved, fought, and fought for, yelled at, screamed at, and got angry at these characters. And you do. A hundred percent of the way. I am so emotional right now that I've reached the end. Me too, girl. Me too. I can't wrap my head around it all. Bishop and Madison, the OG couple, the two who barreled into my comfort zone and told me what the fuck was up. I love you. And they do but they are toxic as all fuck. Nate and, T Nate and Tilly, the tragic lovers, the two who showed me no matter what or how rough life gets, it's who you have during the journey that matters most. Pain is hard, but love is harder. And these two go through some pain. They go through some pain. Nate is not an easy character to love, nor is Tilly. And what they go through is traumatic, but if you stick with them, they will show you that, you know, no matter what, it's the people that you have around you that help you. And our Bradley and Saint, the fucking Psy, our gothic loves, the experience you both gave me has rocked me to my core and left me with tears rolling down my cheeks and a new outlook on life, on love, on pain, on loss. Thank you for sticking with Madison and Bishop as they fought themselves through all of their toxicity and their relationship was toxic as fuck, but beautiful as fuck. The two who changed it all. Thank you for sticking with Nate and Tilly through their pain and resilience. Thank you for sticking with Bradley and Saint through all of their trials and tribulations. You trusted me, you trusted me enough to continue reading every book, even if you knew deep down I was gonna hurt you and hurt you she does, okay? Hi everybody, this is Editing Taji here. So I forgot to add one last thing that I think is really important. I love that Ammo Jones says, our unit, the elite fucking kings. I came as the silver swan, grew up into a broken puppet, learned from Tacta Amortis, suffered through Malum, watched the devil find his saint, and finally rebuilt our ruined castle. Together we did this, our family, we are one fucked up family, but this world, well, this world was all fun and games right up until the end came. Fantastic. I just wanted to add that in because it's really super important because it ties all the books in and it brings it to the ultimate culmination in Ruined Castle where we find out what happens with all of them. And the epilogue then tells us about what's happening at... 18 years later we see the gang all together and that sort of is the beginning of the entrance of the second generation which we will see and will be coming soon so i will go back to finally finish the video
The next generation is coming. I promise you it won't take six years to finish. Here are a series of announcements and titles for the next generation, AKA Carpe Noctum series, which will be released in 2023. And she gives you Carpe Noctum 1, Carpe Noctum, and then so on and so forth. And it is their second generation, the kids' story. And I gotta tell you, and like I said, the final book is The, rest, um, the Ruined Castle. This series, okay, this series, is no fucking joke. It is fantastic. I gave it a five overall. I gave it a five in spice and I gave it a five in angst. It is fantastic. You need to make sure that you pay attention to the trigger warnings because there are times in this book when you're reading where you're just like, is this a menage? Is this a, is this a thruple? Is this a reverse harem? Are we dabbling in reverse harem? What's going on? Like, are we doing this? Are we not doing this? Who's who? Who's doing what? What's going on? I can't understand. I don't understand, but I want more. It is really dynamic and really good and fast paced and a, a fascinating story. Ammo Jones was not one of my favorite authors because I knew she was going to put me through some shit. But then when I went into this, I was like expecting to get hurt, but I was like not expecting to love it as much as I did. I was reading until like one o'clock in the morning because I couldn't put it down. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I got to at least get to a part where I'm not so angst and keyed up. Like I need to know that it's going to be resolved and it's going to be okay. But it absolutely is resolved and it absolutely does work out okay. And it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's so good. I cannot wait for the second generation of books. I hope she puts them out on audiobook. The audiobooks are um, uh, read by... Lucy something and Teddy Hamilton and Teddy Hamilton is one of my favorite he's fantastic he knows how to narrate an audio book he does a great job and I just love you never know what's going to happen and the plot twists and the dynamics that are happening and who is doing what to whom under what circumstance you don't quite know and you can't figure it out until the end until it all sort of comes together and when it comes together it comes together in a crescendo of beauty and orchestra it's fantastic again like i said i cannot recommend this series enough i think that you're going to absolutely love it you're going to thank me so much for reading it but be prepared to have your heart ripped out and shredded right in front of you but then they're going to put it back together it's going to be broken and it's going to be like a little tattered and twisted but it's gonna be fine and you're gonna be like it's okay as long as it's back in my chest I'm still breathing and I'm still going so it's all good it's all good I'm gonna live to fight another day another day so you guys having said that I really hope that you try to check out this series and let me know what you think in the comments below if you have read this and if you haven't if you plan on reading it or if you think like I don't know if I want to take the plunge that sounds like a lot for me but I just recommend do it do it do it do it you can do it um, so that's all that I have for today. So do all the things, hit the like button, hit the bell notification button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video, which is all over the place, but I'm here, so it's all good. So I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.